Betty? Elizabeth? Is that you? Are you upstairs? Betty, I'm coming. I knew you were here. Wait there. I'm on my way. They didn't believe me, but I knew you were still here. Betty? Betty! Are you in there? Open the door! I'm coming in. Stand away from the door. Betty? No. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought it was you, Betty. But who? Anna. Were you here, Betty? It's from Johan, addressed to his wife. Did you notice the handwriting, Betty? It was clearly distraught. Knock, ere knock. Enough is enough. After decades of strife, I pray that God will... Till ye... Forgive me. I am tired of secrets. For twenty years I have kept my silence about our discovery, but my silence has only led to misfortune, and my cowardice has only led to death. I will make Frederick pay for what he has done to us, for what they have done to our Ruth. When it is over, I will let the ocean take me to you and Ruth. May God forgive me. Anna was already dead when he wrote this. He had no one else to confess to. What now, Betty? Johann went to confront his brother, probably at Frederick's farm. And then? You said this was a gift from another unlucky suitor. It was precious to you. You wouldn't have left it here unless... A signpost. A breadcrumb. I know you were here. What's the story you're chasing? Help me understand. What did you want to show me? What's so important about this room, Betty? I know you were here. You followed Johann to Frederick Fretland's farm, and then to the mine. You wouldn't let this go, Betty. You'd follow your story to the end. All the way to the end. Did you go to the mine, Betty? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Did you follow Johan to the farm? Don't worry. I'm right behind you. So where is Frederick's farm? The gate. 
Frederick's warning. The path leads to his farm. The farm is on the way to the mine, isn't that so, Betty? Are you still at the farm? Or did you go all the way to the mine? I need to see what you saw. Follow your story. The red thread you left for me. I'm on my way, Betty. Betty? <laughs> what led you to this place? All these fragments. You would piece them together into a story, wouldn't you, Betty? So, what do we know? Johan and Frederick are partners, and on good terms. But something happens in the mine. Disagreements lead to a falling out. And at the end of it all, 20 years later, Johan walks this path to confront Frederick. Betty! Was this your doing, Johan? Did you burn your brother's farm to the ground? And where were you, Betty? Did you witness their fall? Elizabeth! Betty? What do you reckon, Betty? <sighs> Are you here, Betty? Simon's grave. Born December 5th, 1909. Died September 17th, 1923. The safe. Frederick would choose numbers that meant something to him. Why bury Simon here, and not at the cemetery? If the village blamed him for Ruth's death... I could really use your imagination, Betty. You'd figure this out in no time. Elizabeth! Betty, where are you? Betty? Let's try Simon's birthday. Another Viking artifact, Betty. Most likely from the same treasure Ruth found. Postmarked in... Boston. That's a... a curious coincidence. Dear Frederick, I hope this letter... It's in English, Betty. Hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health. We're concerned about you both. Uh... No word from you for almost two years now. Hmm. All of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing. We know things have been difficult for you and Simon. Hmm. Mr. Fretland. We expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. 
Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract, and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johan must be convinced to wall up the chamber. We have already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. The Fretland Mining Company. I wonder what this unlocks. You went to the mine. I hope our guardian angel watched over you. You're at the mine, aren't you? All right, Betty. So what happens next in your story? Johan and Frederick discover something in the mine. A cave or chamber of archaeological value. They argue about what to do. If the discovery is made public, it's the end of their enterprise. Johan is convinced or paid to walk away. Their secret stays hidden. Then, a few months later, the accident. Three men die. The investors pull out. The mine shuts down. Frederick's up to his neck in debt. I'm on my way. Hold on, Betty. I'm almost there. Did you see this, Betty? Were you here? Cursed mine in Grovik? Locals struggle with bad crops and livestock deaths and blame it on... They thought they were cursed because of the mine. A thing like that becomes self-fulfilling. If you believe you're cursed, every misfortune feeds the delusion. Where did you go? So, 20 years pass. The Fretland feud tears the village apart, setting neighbor against neighbor. And then, Ruth stumbles across the secret in the mine. After all this time, the truth may finally come to light, but she dies. And the day after, Simon is murdered. It's a catalyst. Old grievances resurface. No matter who you stand with, you're a traitor. Things escalate. More people die. From disease, despair, suicides, murder. Did you come here to tell their stories? braver than me. Always curious. Always pushing the boundaries. Betty? Betty? All because of the mine. Because of what they found there. And what they covered up. There was no one to stop it, Betty. They were alone. That's the real curse of Grovik. Isolation. If you hear me, just stay put. I'm almost there.
Did you come here to tell their stories? This place is cursed. Ridiculous. Ruth was here, the day she fell. Something spooked her, and then... She ran. All the way to the cliff where... Do you know what happened, Betty? Did you witness it? Hello? Betty, are you in there? Please answer me. Betty? Hello? Betty, are you here? Betty! Call out if you can hear me. Oh, Betty. This is... Mother's brooch. You always wore this. You wouldn't take it off unless... You left it here for a reason. What am I not seeing? Elizabeth? Is that... Is that you? Edward? Where are you? I'm... I'm on my way, Betty. Wait for me. I can hear you. Hold on! I'm almost there! Edward! Stay where you are. I'm coming! Stay put, Betty. I'm coming for you. Betty? Betty! Where are you? I'm on my way. Elizabeth? I'm on my way! Don't move! I'm coming for you! Edward, please! Hurry! I'm cup. I'm here, Betty! It's Edward! It's me! I can hear you! Hold on! I'm almost there! I'm all... Stay put, Betty. I'm coming for you. Betty? Betty! Edward! Elizabeth? Edward? Just stay put. I'm on my way! Move! I'm coming for you! Edward! I'm here, Edward. Betty! It's Hurry. Edward! It's... I'm coming! Edward, is that you? I'm in here. Thank God. Thank God. You're here. You're inside the house. Elizabeth. There you are. Finally! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been looking for you. You, you had me so worried, I, I... I... Look! Your brooch. Mother's brooch. You, you must have lost it at the mine. 
Let me put it on for you, Betty. I wouldn't want you to lose it again. She's been dead for 30 years, Edward. Elizabeth was never here. But we didn't come for her. We came for Johan, and Anna, and Frederick, and Simon, and... and Ruth. We're here to tell their stories. No. Elizabeth. She's here. I... You know Betty died when she was a baby. She drowned in the pond. And you found her. You were just 11. You carried her to your mother. And your mother... She hated you for that. She could never forgive you for bringing her baby to her. And you could never forgive yourself for what she did after. You always forget this, because you don't want to be alone. So you bring Betty back, again and again, to New York, to Boston, to the house. But always just out of reach, never quite there. The scent of her, the echo of her, but never really her. All it does is make you lonelier. But the thing is, Edward, you're never alone. You have us. And you'll always have us. Betty's... She was never there for you. She couldn't be. You can't lose us. We're a part of you. Forever. And ever. And ever. But you need to let Betty go now. There's not room for all of us in there. I couldn't save you, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. It is as painful to wake from a vision as it is to be born anew.